Dr. Mark, why don't we go ahead? You already showed the device that they had, uh, and you showed, I believe, the lead and the actual generator that they may eventually get. This is, again, uh, this is the device you go home with. Uh, you'll be advised prior to leaving uh, the hospital uh, about basic limitations as far as showering. Uh, there really is not a lot of discomfort from this procedure. Uh, you'll have the stimulator. It'll be adjusted so you just feel a slight tapping, uh, and therefore you know it's uh, working. Uh, if it's too much, you can actually lower it. If it's not quite enough, you can raise it up to get the best stimulation. Uh, then, like I said, the key is the log. That gives your physician the best opportunity to know if it's successful for you. And then when you return to your visit, he'll go over the log with you and then determine if you're a candidate for the permanent implant. Like I said, the actual permanent is very small. Relative to a quarter, it's not all that big. It goes underneath the, the uh, skin on, the, on either the right or left side of the buttocks, which allows you to control it with an external device, which gives you an up and negative, down and up as far as changing, and, and other aspects as far as controlling the kind of program. The interesting thing about it is it's not just a simple tap, 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 tap. There are multiple ways your physician can adjust this up and down, the frequency, the intensity, all sorts of ways to get you to get the best results. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and conclude here. There are a lot of great questions as far as patient uh, capabilities afterwards, uh, whether it's an MRI or going through the airport. I really think the key here is that what we're restoring for the patient is normal function. We're not relying on catheters. We're not relying on medications. We're restoring normal function for those patients who literally can be crippled by their bladder condition, whether it's that they can't go to the bathroom or lose control and can't can hold it back. So this has been a breakthrough for us and it's something we can easily test to see if this works for our patient and should we be widely available. Thank you. I think one of the key things here is I think we showed today how simple just the test is. Often I get patients who uh, are afraid of having an implant. The whole thought of an implant is just too much to take. This shows really a test is a very simple minor procedure that gives us information to determine if you're a candidate for the for implant. So we don't want to get fixated on the implant so much as looking at and say this is an opportunity to do a diagnostic test to see if you're a candidate for a better therapy or a better way of life. So I think as we wrap up here, Dr. Odorica, do you have anything more to add? Well, I want to thank everybody here today who's been a, a real uh, team and all the efforts that have gone into putting this uh, production together. I want to thank Dr. Zazerski for his uh, knowledge and experience here. We have Chris uh, helping us out doing the compound muscle action potential. We have Anna helping us out in terms of the table. And uh, we have Amy who's been doing the fluoro and Pam uh, taking care of the patient. It is a team approach in terms of doing this. And I think that's one of the, the good things that I found also working with Medtronics because they really are part of the team in terms of making this therapy successful. So. Thank you, and I would conclude with that. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this OR Live webcast presentation from Tampa General Hospital in Tampa, Florida. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the Request Information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. OR Live, the vision of improving health.